Welcome. This is a two-part module which will guide you through creating employee SSIDs and IP networks for Arrowhive routers and branch offices. In part one, I will demonstrate how to configure an SSID with WPA2 Personal. In this section, I will show you how to create a network policy for branch router deployments that defines an employee SSID secured with WPA2 Personal. To begin, for new installations, we have a quick start policy for wireless only deployments with Arrowhive APs. We have a quick start policy for wireless and routing deployments for use when you have Arrowhive routers and optionally APs behind them. And we have a quick start policy for Bonjour Gateway only deployments for use when you just need Arrowhive devices for Bonjour Gateway services. To start, I will clone a quick start policy which has some recommended settings already configured. Because this installation will be for Arrowhive routers in my branch offices, I will clone the Quick Start Wireless and Routing policy. This network policy will be used for defining the networks in my branch offices, so I will give it a name, Branch Networks. and I will select the default Hive that I configured upon initial login to Hive Manager. And now I will clone. From here, you can configure your SSIDs. Please note that until you decide to update the configuration of your APs, the settings will not be activated. To start, next to SSIDs, I will click Choose. If SSIDs are already configured, you can just select them and click OK to add them to this network policy. Because I have not created my branch SSIDs yet, I will click New. In the New SSID configuration page, the Profile Name field is the name of the SSID profile stored in Hive Manager. The SSID field is used to set the actual SSID that is advertised on the air. The first SSID I will create will be for employees and I will set the profile name to Corp Wi-Fi Branch. And set the SSID that is advertised to Corp Wi-Fi, which will match the SSID I have configured in my wireless only network policy for headquarters. When I click SSID, the SSID profile name is replicated. I will just have to backspace over the word branch. The reason why I'm using a different SSID profile name than the SSID is because in a previous demonstration, I already created the Corp Wi-Fi SSID profile and Corp Wi-Fi SSID, which I used in my Corp headquarters network. And now I want to use the same SSID in my branch office networks, but with different network policies and user settings. Also, though you can use the same SSID for your headquarters and branch office networks, you need to create a different SSID profile name for the same SSID used in a wireless only network policy and a wireless and routing network policy. I will secure this SSID with WPA2 Personal. WPA2 Personal encrypts all traffic and requires the users to enter a secure passphrase to connect to this SSID for employee network access. The secure passphrase used in this SSID profile should be the same used in the Corp Wi-Fi SSID profile for the corporate headquarters. This will allow employees to use the same SSID in corporate headquarters as they do in branch offices. To ensure you enter a passphrase correctly, you can uncheck the box next to Obscure Password so you can see the passphrase in clear text as you enter it. I will make sure to obscure my password as I type it. Now I will enter a secure passphrase. Please make sure this passphrase is secure because it grants wireless access to your corporate network. It is recommended that you use upper and lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols, and the longer it is, the more secure it is. 
I will enter the passphrase again to confirm. Now I will save this SSID. In the Choose SSID dialog, I will click to deselect the QS SSID. And then I'll make sure my Corp Wi-Fi branch SSID profile is selected. And I'll click OK. Here you can see the SSID profile name and below it the actual SSID that is advertised. And you can also see the access security setting for this SSID. Now that the new SSID has been added, an add remove link is now available under the user profile. You will need to add a user profile to define the user access policies for this SSID, which are assigned and enforced by the router. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. You can now proceed to the next video in the Getting Started series.